Oh, I saw it in, bro! Oh, fuck it! Oh, yeah! I don't like your voice. Your voice makes me just want to kill everything. As soon as I hear you say a word, I'm just like, can you shut up? Whoa! Everything about this track just made me just want to, you know, jump on a train and then jump off the train and then jump on another train and then jump in front of a train. <laughs> For all the people who are a big fan of this guy and commenting, this guy can't even fucking review this guy properly. It's just, you got to understand, have you ever listened to an artist where if you don't like one thing about them, you can't look past it to see the rest of the beauty behind it? So you're asking yourself, man, what is Jungle Beats? What is Jungle Beats? Why is he showing his ass to start of this video? Because it's a really average ass that some people like to see. Why are there veggie chips on, on the couch? Why do they taste sweet and sour at the same time? And why did his voice just crack? We don't have the answer to these questions. But we've been asked many times to review K21. We ain't sure if it's by one person a hundred times or if it's by a hundred people one time. We're going to review his latest he, she, they, latest album, any given D-Day. I reckon it's going to be a robot. I reckon it's going to be human. I reckon it's just going to be like some guy just being like... Yeah. Hey, I'm ready. We've heard some weird shit on the past. Um, thank you for recommending it, guys. You guys recommend music enough, we will get to it. If you're a Patreon, of course, exactly. we will get to it at a much higher priority. I think there's like things we still need to get to, like Bionic Pig, which we've been asking for ages. But, yeah. You know, we'll get to when we get to it, man. We're going to be here a while unless we die, so. Yeah, and we will die, so better get on Patreon <laughs> so we can afford our funeral. Yo, we're 36 out of 50, man. We're doing good. Our goal. No, thank you for all your support. Much appreciated. We're gonna start <coughs> prelude. To the full. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go straight into one man army. It was like attached to ourselves here. Yeah. I was like, hey, hey. It's like it's an anthem track. So the Drake's gonna come on here. Trophy spot two. Oh fuck, bro. He's Australian. I think he is. That, that's Australian. Did you know he was Australian? No. I think it's a dope way to start the album, especially with trumpets, man. Wait, is that the prelude and the first track? And the first track, yeah. Motherfucker's Australian. Hello. Oh, we, we assume he is. He sounds Australian to me. I mean, he could be British, but I think he sounds more Australian than British. Which is cool, because we always trying to hear more Australians. Yeah. You weren't fucking with this? I mean, it's one track. Not really. I don't really like his voice. I could get over his voice because the flow and the production was a standout to me. I don't know. I'm going to have to hear more. Again, yeah. I, I enjoyed that. Production, great. Good way to start. Anti-hero, Wrath of K. These are good, man. I think you'd like them, man. Did you know they existed? No. But so thank you. Hey, good fucking job, bro. He ain't feeling it, but let me tell you something. Man, wait your mouth empty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean I'm not feeling it? Continue. <laughs> um, I thought once again this really showcased more of your, your um, more of your diverse skill set. I thought. Your flow was diverse. I think this track was really diverse. It showed um, multiple uh, different talents that you, you may possess. You kept it fresh. You kept coming in with the, the flow. 
You drowned out the vocals, you took it back, drowned it out, took it back. You came in at different cadences and speeds, really enjoyed that. Um, and that that and the production, you brought in the trumpets again, which really kept it vibrant and um, really sonically, you know, just uh, pleasant. Uh, I like that, like, New York type of trumpet type, Bronx type, I don't know. It's like we switch places. Mm. Um, I don't like your voice. Your voice <laughs> makes me just want to kill everything. As soon as I hear you say a word, I'm just like, can you shut up? Whoa. I'm sorry, man. Um, no, be real admit- with him, be real with him. But really, the beat was the beat was really good. Like you said, it was really dope. I like the switch up at the end. The trumpets are really beautiful. The drums are really clear. Um, your flow is really good. I just I just can't take your voice, man. It's just it's not something where you can be like fuck you, then. It's just more just like just, just how I've used you, man. If I don't like your voice, then I can't, I'm not going to like anything else you do. Usually, I'd be in that camp, but I don't know. For everything else, seems quite standout for me. Like, so. See, like I can acknowledge all the good things in the structuring of this song, right? But when, if I don't like one thing about it, it just ruins it's the too rest much, of it. huh? Yeah. I do. Just keep it going, though. Who knows? Maybe I'll be swayed. We got a feature on this one. One shot featuring Adrian Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Bob with the Yo, mob. I'm just I'm having fucking law. chips. Bop, bop, the dog. Bucky playing Jane. You know how much I love them reggae tracks? Is it done? It is done. Oh, thank fuck. At least it's keeping them short. Yeah, I do respect that. You, um, can, go, you can go first again. Cause you, you know. <laughs> Usually, uh, the Australian accent, Australian um, hip hop and rap, I wouldn't think would jive with type of a reggae type of hook. Um, but I actually, I actually enjoyed that. Um, and I think it's kind of refreshing. He's showcasing once again a different kind of vibe, a different type of um, instrumentation, and uh, experimenting with something different. So, uh, overall, not bad. I'm not really hearing what he's saying, though. You know, I'm not really paying attention to that right now. What do you think? Because I know how much you love reggae. I mean, oh, fuck, don't get me started on how much I fucking froth reggae. <laughs> fuck me. Especially Better when, know. Especially fuck- when it's mixed with fucking hip hop. Oh, mate, you've got a fucking winner there. Chicken dinner. Chicken <laughs> fucking dinner winner fucking... They don't know. We speak... We're like... Plenty of Australians speak like this, though. So. They don't know. <laughs> oh, mate. Um, fucking, mate. I had a lot fucking. of good to say about the last track, even though I didn't like it. This track... Everything about this track just made me just want to, you know, jump on a train and then jump off the train and then jump on another train and then jump in front of a train. <laughs> so, what? You take a bunch of trains just to jump in front of a train? Yeah, I gotta make friends with the train before I let it kill me. Fuck, that's, that way I have a bit more of a bond. It's dark, bro. Dark track. You know Remy? Yeah, so it confirms this guy's Australian, man. Family. Welcome to the family. Is this Remy kind of woke him into the hip hop industry? I wasn't listening. That's good. It's good review music. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's so hard. Like, his voice is. It's fucking. Like. Oh. I wonder how um, K21 and, and Remy's relationship is. Because, like I kind of said before, I reckon. um. That was kind of like a bonding track, like Remy. Isn't, isn't like they've grown like a, a respect for each other or like yeah. a, a, an aligning of interests with each other? Yeah, within within like a mutual interest within music, a mutual kind of partnership mm. or friendship. But um, 
I really? like the production on that one probably the most so far. Really? I, like, I like the fast paced keys up and down. I like the, the slow, heavy snares. So it's more my type of production. But once again, as soon as K21 comes on, I just... What do you feel? I feel like a fox being trapped and I'm running down rabbit holes, killing as many rabbits as I can and yeah. then knitting them all together and using mm. my fox knitting skills to make like a rabbit cloak so I can pretend to be a rabbit and wow. then eventually fuck another rabbit and make some weird have a rabbit fox child and eat it because just to see what it tastes like because who else would get to try a rabbit fox child and then eventually kill myself. Wow. Everything ends up in you killing yourself. That's really um, interesting. Um, but it's really... I don't mean to like shit on this path. <laughs> I don't mean but to... But you do. But you really do. <laughs> but like, even for all the people who are a big fan of this guy and commenting, this guy can't even fucking review this guy properly. It's just, you got to understand, have you ever listened to an artist where... If you don't like one thing about them, you can't look past it to see the rest of the beauty behind it. Like, there's no denying this man's saying shit. There's no denying this man's got skills. There's no denying he's displaying a great sense of being a musician. But there's no way I'm going to see that if I can't like something about him first off. Now, that's important. And as soon as Remy came on, you know what? As soon as Remy came on, as soon as Remy came on, I was like, fuck, I like his voice. I could listen to what he's saying. Yeah. I could vibe it. I could actually un- understand because there was a like there. Fucking fail, bro. The Sorry. fan stopped you. Got fan I'm, just try- I'm just trying to like give you all the people out there being like, he's just a hater. Yeah, I'm being a hater, but like, there's reasons why you can be a hater. And that's all I'm going to say. I can taste blood in my tongue. Too much salt? Yeah. If you have too much salt, then it can like, you know... Yeah, so you probably just like the taste buds in your tongue are they're dead. I've killed them. You've killed them. They grow How? back. How? Because of the salt. I think so. Too much salt. Too much salt, bro. It's really weird. Hey. That's it? Yeah. Yo. First track. Thank you for the quick songs, man. Brian Fest fucking killed that. I, I love Brian Fest. I know Fest. Ryan Fest. I've heard him before. He's American. He's dope, man. He's really cool. Ryan Fest has some cool shit. He's like got a killer mic type of flow with a ludicrous type of tone. Really reminded me of Ludacris. I really enjoyed that. Kind of reminds me of like um, a Bazaar from D12. But obviously quicker. Because he had that kind of sort of like comical sense and a bit of high pitchedness to him. I was dope, man. I've got to um, listen to Rhymefest now. Yeah. No, Rhymefest is dope. I think they interchange well. I think boom, 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 boom. I really like the way they went yeah. back and forth. Smooth back and forth. Catchy beat. Cool. Oh, no. What? Tequila su- Suicide featuring Hilltop Hoods. Oh my boy, Suffer and Pressure and DJ Debris. Let's get into it. You know how much I love my hoods, Hilltop Hoods. <laughs> you, know, I was, you know I was born in the same area they were born? Same area? What area is that? Um, Adelaide Hills. They were born in Adelaide, huh? That's why they're called Hilltop Hoods, because uh, Hilltop Hoods was an area in Adelaide. Oh, really? Now this is K21. I can tell because... Like he's got a really high, nasally voice. Just give me the shots. No expert, but don't put that shit on the box. It's like he's constantly trying to blow his nose, but then he doesn't want to. It's like the guy in the train is like, you're just like, fucking blow your nose. That's how I feel. Who could? Yeah, so Suffer started the song, and then K21 had the middle verse, and then Pressure with the last verse. I enjoyed um, 
I enjoyed where Hilltop's hood came in. I ain't got. I didn't really have any problems with their with their their features. I don't mind Hilltop. They're, they're, they're very talented. That I was I was a bit. What? 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 Sorry, I just had to move the pillow. I was a. Uh, maybe I want to move these motherfucking pillows, boy. <clears throat> I was a big Hilltop fan back in the day. I've seen them live many times. But as time goes on, yeah. you realise that some artists just don't want to change. Yeah. Or if they do want to change, it's for money and for the spotlight. So that's all i got to say about them, guys. It was, it was, a, it was yep. a pretty boring track, in my opinion. Very it was okay. Same, uh, yeah. same, same. I ain't really got much to say about that either, man. Um, repetitive hook. See, wasn't feeling me. you might be listening to this and being like, man, K21 sounds really cool. This production is sick, but... Sometimes. This production is very... Similar to a lot of other Aussie hip hop artists, which is another reason why I'm so zoned out. Like, there's nothing K21 is doing okay. that no one's already done. So I'm not too familiar with Australian artists, I'm, so I can't really have reference points like you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go next fucking track. Greatest living nightmare. It is. It really is. <laughs> That was the best track. I think the way the production fitted with his flow so synchronistic synchronistically syn synchron <laughs> I don't think that's the word. Synchro syn synchronously synch you know what I mean. <laughs> um that's what really made that a standout right there. Why'd you fuck with it? Did you just skip the last verse though? No, it was the end. Oh, was the end? Yeah, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought, I guess similar to what you said, I think that's the best beat I've heard so far. Like those really heavy snares. Like the, I thought, I thought in terms of his voice, his voice sounded the best on this type of production. And on all of the tracks, he's been trying to do so much with his flow. Like he'll be trying to do a lot of double time. Like you said, it's been yeah. good because he's been doing lots of different flows. But I feel like, I feel like because he's, I don't think he's that, great a rapper so when he's trying to do so much he's yet to like really focus on everything else so i feel like here because he's like keeping the same sort of flow throughout the whole way through his delivery and his storytelling is really is really good like i actually wasn't to an, i wasn't really annoyed really nearly at all on this track because his delivery was so it was very safe but it was also so Consistent. it was more him okay like when he was rapping in this track like i could really hear the passion i could hear i could hear the the delivery in a more, I don't know, more dignified way because mm. there was less of him to focus on. Like he, I feel like with the other tracks, okay. he's focusing so much and doing too much that like everything just feels a little messy or out of place. We're here, this whole track was really beautiful. I think that's a, um, that's a thorough critique, young sir. Yeah, I could go back to this track list to it again. It was a good track. It's, it's the only track I've enjoyed off this album. Boot Camp featuring Icus Millis. Millis. Milosh. It's my dad. Sorry, Milosh. It's not a death group track. <laughs> Double time right here. I didn't like that first feature, man. I didn't. I didn't think he should start the track like that. Nah, I didn't really like this track. The production was kind of like. I feel like the production of this album, like the production is quite good all over the place, but I feel like there's no cohesiveness. There's no cohesiveness. Yeah, it's like he's really. just chucked in a bunch of different features, a bunch of different beats, and just put this album together. Like it's. 
Uh, I feel like it's, is that the last track? Oh, I wish. <laughs> <coughs> Issue featuring trials. That's fucking dope. Oh, come on. Let's just have a dope ass beat with a fucking wicked set and get this fucking bogan ass fucking trash on the hook. Why would you think that's a good idea? Now it's back to this. Sounds Eminem inspired. Yo, let me just spit one of my hardest bursts on that fucking album and then put this trash hook afterwards. Oh, what was he thinking? How do you listen to this and think it's good? That, that feature needs to go. <laughs> Bye, needs Felicia. To, you know what's really weird is that throughout this whole album, the features to me have been outshining him most of the time, like Rhyme Fest and, and fucking Remy and that. But right here, he fucking went in. This is another track where I could listen to him and I'd be like, you sound at home. There are a few times where I felt him off beat a little bit, but he fucking went in. And that Agreed. beat was that beat was so beautiful. Spooky. But da, da, do, 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 do. Yeah, you I don't often hear a beat like that. That shit was fucking beautiful. I don't know what the fuck you were thinking about with that feature. His hook was disgusting. His hook made me want to vomit. His verses were so out of place. His verses, the layering was vo he had to layer his vocals four to five times just so it sounded average. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. How the fuck are you going to spit some of the hardest shit on your own album to put that whack-ass feature on there? Was it your friend? You're like, oh, I promised my homie I was going to give him a try verse on my album because he's my homie. Fuck out of here. That shit Tell trash. Him. Tell him. That shit trash. But beside that, man, Kay, you, you, you spat the hardest probably on this track. And I, I feel like you said the most here as well. You know, I was really... You really caught my attention with some of the lyricism um, compared to the other tracks as well. So whatever you, little method you used to cook up this track, use that as a blueprint to cook up the next album. Without those features. Without the features. A lot of features on this album, man. Yeah, man. Change my way. It's been one of the hardest reviews I've ever done. No, wait, JT. JT was the hardest. Oh, did you ever go back to that? <laughs> that review was... Uh, Man, face this shit in the woods. <laughs> I was really sad they didn't get many views. I thought that was deserving of a lot more. Look, your verse at the start was fine, but the the rest was subpar. How boring was that hook? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was there. I was listening to it. Thanks, mate. Yeah, please, you can stop. It's too much. All right, you can stop now. Thank you. You don't like people touching your knee.
I love when people touch my third knee. I'm talking about my dick. What up, Zoe? <laughs> she don't watch this far anyway, so we sweet. She don't watch my shit. There you go. Rap Game Travolta, Chris Harrell remix. Why is this on the album? Featuring Mac LaFell. Oh, Mac Lethal. Mac Lethal, sorry. He's pretty big. I don't care. Oh, he's going in, bro. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, bro. Could you feel him rapping, bro? Oh, fuck yeah. I feel your energy. Oh, it's real, bro. Oh, Really good breath control, this guy. In LP vibes. Except twice as far. <laughs> you know, it's really, it's really poetic that you got Mac Lethal on this last track. Poetic. Because, yeah, because, well, ironic as well, because Mac Lethal is a very, very good rapper. Like, he's very, his breath control is amazing, his mm. wordplay is amazing, but... Yeah, that was dope. I could never get into Mac Lethal because of his voice. See what I mean? I don't like Mac Lethal's voice, and it's really funny because I don't like K21's voice, so it's very ironic. Oh shit, I saved it to my library. Oh, I fixed it. Now, I don't mind Mac, Mac, Mac Lethal's voice. I think it's much more appetizable or digestible than K21's. There was one track on this album which I liked. I might go back to it. I feel like the, this rapper is nice. He has some good wordplay, some good sounds. It just sounds very same, same to other rappers' work. This album isn't cohesive. It just sounds like he's got a bunch of shit put together. There's a few good features on this album. I won't go back to this. I think it's pretty fucking... I think it's pretty bad. I wouldn't recommend All listening right. to this. Alright. Well, on the other hand... Well, I do agree with you. As I don't think it's very cohesive pr production-wise. Um, the features are, are a mixed bag. However, out of all these Australian artists that I've listened to, which is very few, uh, this is actually um, surprisingly uh, better than I expected um, for, for, my, for how I experience Australian artists. And... Um, I enjoyed the way K20, K20K uh, flowed on a lot of the different tracks. I really enjoyed his high tempo uh, energy, and but a lot of the tracks uh, hit and miss. But for first listen, it's not bad, man. It's not bad. It's as bad as I expected it to be. Uh, we're Jungle Beats. Thank you for <sighs> thank you for trying to get us to do this for the past two months with your thousands of comments. I'm so glad we finally got to this, guys. I'm so fucking glad. Thank you. Fuck you all. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking out this bitch. Fucking sleeping. Shit. Shots fired. Oh, goodbye, baby. Oh, the treetop.